welcome today we're going to be making taco soup what some people may call it taco stew um here are all the ingredients you would need this is just a walmart brand of Votel uh, petite diced tomato corn you just need one can of corn but i like corn so i'm putting two in um pinto beans you need <laughs> season petita that's close enough taco season chili bean black beans you need season onion powder garlic powder black pepper this is optional it uh oh it's best to get the chop if you could find the chop you wouldn't taste this but you could still chop it up with a fork but the store i was at didn't have the chop uh black olives so the slice won't work that's optional and if you like it hot jalapeno pepper of course cheese mozzarella mexican blend um got this cream cheese uh what is it it's cream cheese bread but it's what we got with the chives in it oh there i go chives and onion and either doritos or tortitos or frito corn chips which i got it over there but i will put it out in a minute and then i have the rice cooking you want to chop up half of a small onion or even half of a half and if you don't like onions don't put it in but i like onions Go ahead and put that in there. yes and make sure your hands are clean please i have rice cooking right now in the rice cooker because you know if you don't get that rice right uh you're gonna be tasting it and it's um to be kind of hard so i'm gonna get this started turn your heat to meet them Let's see if you can see that okay and uh now this is meatless you can add a half a pound of ground beef or you can add um a pound of ground beef um but this is meat, uh, meatless, so it would be without any kind of meat. Now, you can add like Morningstar crumble or Garden crumble if you want to, but I don't have any, so I uh, won't be adding that. So I'm just going to uh, add a little season right now. Um, and you would need a thing of water, maybe a cup and a half. All right, let's get this adjusted. So, let's see. No, that's good enough. If you can find these cans, it's easy to do. I would drain this a little bit, but not all. Chili bean. Pinto beans.
And since everything is pre-cooked already, it wouldn't take this long, maybe a little bit. If you want the, if you don't want like fresh tasting onion, then go ahead and cook the onion before you put uh, any of the beans in. Add this just a little water. You got beef, uh, broth. You just start with a what is it? A third. You're gonna be basing adding a cup. Um, I'm gonna have to open these. I don't think you want to sit and watch that. So when I uh, open these, I right, come back. I'm going to add another can of black beans because there was a lot of rice. You don't have to, but yeah, I never do that. But I wipe down everything. And then stir that up. Go ahead and your generic Votel. Please use a, a knife, not your fingers. And if you like, you could chop these up some more, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that because it'll get lost in all of that. But I would like to chop one. Next time I get to chop one, I'm gonna be a to really you know, taste it. It's just a small can. I'm going to go ahead and add probably a teaspoon of this. That's a little bit more. This is just give it a little flavor. You don't have to add that. And then the whole thing of the taco season. Any taco season, it don't have to be the this brand. And just stir it up. And just let this simmer for, i say no more than 10 minutes. And we're going to come back and plate it up. Okay. Let's go in and stir it up. Oh, that's pretty thick. Your rice is not sticking, so that's good. I'm gonna taste it so you do see that we need to add any more season. Uh, let's see here. Um, I'm gonna make a grab right now. There's a fork. Yeah, blow this off because it is hot. Hmm. I say it tastes 
took care, but I want to add just a little bit more taco season. And this is a lot. Just a little bit more. Uh, can you see how much I add? Yeah. Maybe a couple tablespoons more. And you just bowl this up and put your chips on your plate. Doritos. I'm just going to put some on the side for right now. Now this is what I like. I like to um, put mozzarella. Uh oh, about the camera inside to make it cheesy. You don't have to do this, but this is what I like. Just a little. So if you you know if you want more, you can always add. Remember that. Give it a good stir. I just made a lot, so I might have to give it to some to my friends and everybody else. But this is a lot. So you want to bow it up. fall so bad. Got the camera on there. Sorry. You just want to bow it up and a couple scoop. Yeah, we can clean it up later. Maybe two. Maybe three. That's enough. Get all that cheese. Oh Lord. Alright. Yes, I'm gonna use my finger though. I can't get it apart, so. Oh well, that's my food. Use your finger or your tongue or your toes or whatever you want to use, but I'm gonna use my finger. Put that on the side right here. I made a mess. Okay, I'll clean that mess up after. I don't know what I'm cleaning up now because it's bothering me. Okay, so. You want to put a little cheese on top, the Mexican blend. Just a little. And you can put some in there too if you want to. Uh, oh. We got a small space to work in. It's jalapeno much you want and just make sure you up for uh, you know some issues later on you put too many get off of that okay and oh I forgot one other thing sour cream you know you gotta use that. Oh, it's brand new. I guess you gotta open it. I'm just gonna put it right there. You can always come on out. That didn't look too, but anyway, and there you have it. 
taco soup or you want to call it stew. Hot dog it. It's okay. Taco soup. Taco stew with Dorito chips. Enjoy. Thank you.